What is up here? This is Minite Zero. And Lizzie. And welcome back to Let's Play Dawn World 2 Goodbye Despair. In this episode, we have a mouse. We have a mouse, finally! Yeah, we actually have a mouse, so we should be able to go. I'm actually just gonna hit the control button for a little bit, and we should hopefully get to the first non stop debate pretty quickly. But yeah, just a quick little update. Sorry about the kind of haphazard ending to the yeah, previous Yeah, it was like super one. impromptu. We're like, oh, I guess it's over now. <laughs> I guess that's GG. But we were pretty confused about what to do in this particular non stop debate. I will, you know, get my little excuses out of the way. I'm not 100%. It, well, really, I've never used this mouse before in my life. So I'm not going to claim to be super used to how it moves and all that stuff. But regardless, the killer didn't tape Komaida's mouth to shut him up. Hmm. Where's the point of body? With wounds, what was it? Do you think that's it? No. That's why he was so beat up. I feel like we're gonna have to appropriate one of the bolts. What were they trying? Like the bomb's hiding place. So suspect. I think that might be it. Maybe. Hmm. What are you thinking? Why do I I have to torture Komaida? No, the wounds at Komoda's body you really caused by torture in the first place? Do we have evidence that indicates that... Let's go back to our bullets. Yeah, I think that's the... Uh... Oh, do you want to, like, in the e-handbook? Or, can't we access... Oh, yeah, 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 in the e-handbook. Okay. And let's take a look. So the torture wounds. Hmm. Does, is there anything? I don't remember what exactly are. This is what caused the fire. I don't. Re I don't recall what all of our bullets are. So let's let's start this up again yeah. and see what we have what to work with. Does it count for torture wounds? Do you think maybe the torture wounds? Probably torture wounds. Yeah, on like the fact that he was like, was he even tortured in the first place? Do you want to try that? Yeah. Like this one? Or um, probably... Wadi? Okay. What are you feeling? The bomb's hiding place. This one, right? Oh wait, no, no. It's her next statement, right? Uh, wait, I thought she said something that was related to the torture wounds. Or was it Kuzuryu? The next person goes like, oh, it's Kuzuryu who found it first, and then he was like, I would never torture anyone. Hmm. Can we read the description for the torture wounds? Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is like how it's gonna be, because we don't remember anything. Well, the his legs were tied with rope, and each rope was tied to nearby pillars, which prevented from moving. His thighs were also covered with a lot of stab wounds. I mean, I don't think that's Oh, anything. wait, no, no, no. I think what it is, is that they were like, oh, he wanted to find out the location of the bomb. But, um, the blood was on top of the duct tape, which means that he was already duct taped before he got tortured, which means that... Is that relevant to this? I, that's not relevant to this, but I think that's relevant to this whole general thing. Because they're saying that the whoever... Or, was duct tape one of the... I don't remember if it was one of the truth bullets that we can actually, like, use. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it is. So we're gonna show that there was no torturing. It was torturing, but that they weren't um, trying to find out where the bomb was. This one? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of confused with your uh, your line there. I think someone says. That's the only one you can like agree with. Yeah. Maybe this one? So we found the bomb first? Yeah. Try it. Okay. Mm, I don't think so. Do you understand my logic? I like, I get the whole duct tape, like, in the blood spatters for, like, the ordering of events, but I don't see, like... Because they're saying, like, whoever tortured him was doing it so they could find out where the bomb was. But Komaida couldn't talk. Right? So it's like, I'm torturing you because I want to know where it is, but I've made it so that you can't talk. So it doesn't make sense that the person torturing is trying to get to Komaida to tell them something. Okay, I kind of see that. I, I would also argue that someone could torture someone with duct tape on so they don't scream and stuff, and then like as soon as they're ready, like you can just like... Yeah, yeah, but I... Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
犯人の目的は口封じじゃねえって。We'll see. お前だを拷問することなんだ。Like、お前ださんの死体が傷だらけなのは。犯人がお前だを拷問したから。それであんなに痛めつけられてたのか。拷問して何を隠そうとしたのかな。なぜこの場所に隠したのかな。Because of the order of like the. Because there's no blood under the tape. See what happens after a while because we keep focusing on all these things. Hmm. Found it by coincidence. Is there anything we can do to support that statement? Yeah. That it was found by coincidence? Why did the killer have to torture Komaida? Do we want to look at the survival knife? I think that might be something that's indicative okay. of less like torture and more so like you need to be pinned down or something like that. It's safe to assume that the wounds on Komaida's legs and left arm were caused by this knife. Was hmm. survival knife one of the bullets? Yes. Duct tape was, the from the panels were... Do you think this is maybe to contradict the one that it was a coincidence? No, because of no. Hmm. What are the other truth bullets? I don't think it's a cotton oil lighter, but I don't think. Yeah. We can try the survival knife with. Komaeda san no shitai ga kizu darake na no wa. With who? Uh, it was the sold and stayed. Komaeda wa gomon shita kara desu. <laughs> this child's gonna go so poorly. Oh my goodness, if that's not torture, then what is it? There's no other possibility. Probably should have reviewed why we got into this non-stop debate in the first place. They were trying to prove that the traitor and the killer are the same person. Hmm. What? What? Oh my god. But that doesn't mean that he didn't get tortured. That doesn't mean that he didn't get tortured. He thousand percent did get tortured. Do you remember like it was literally like, oh my god, his mouth was open and the duct tape was sucked in because he was screaming from pain because he was being tortured. I think you brought up this exact statement earlier, and yeah. I was like, wait, but like just because his duct tape was covered, like doesn't mean he couldn't have been tortured, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if they were trying to get him to confess something, like that's a lot of times a strategy where like people that are torturing other people will cover them up or muffle them or put something in their mouth so they can't scream while they torture them. And then will like rip it and they're like, now tell us, blah, blah, blah. At least from all the games and movies and everything that I've ever yeah, experienced. Yeah, yeah. That... And besides, it's not even say like, Kumaida, the Soldo saying is that he's obviously being tortured. I was like, yeah, he was obviously being tortured because his mouth was covered with duct tape. And so yeah. he was like trying to be muffled the screen. Right. Like there's no other ah. Honestly pretty 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 frustrated this with that. A... Um on your guys' end, it's only gonna seem like we well, it was like a minute or two of us struggling and then fast forward to this. It was literally like twenty minutes of us struggling and dying. 20 minutes is an hour statement. It was probably about half an hour of us just kind of chilling here being like, yeah, I don't really know I don't what it know. is. It was literally, like, I was things. like, I don't want a whole episode of us just being like, I don't know what it is. Real, real quick. Real quick. Just going to get this out there. Some of you guys can be like, oh, it's like so obvious, blah, blah, blah. First of all, 2020 hindsight. You guys play the games. You guys yeah. know the results. Of course, it's going to look like obvious from retrospect. But also, like, a lot of the few problems I do have with Dong Rafa come from the perception of the truth bullets and how they relate to other points mm. so like how does each truth bullet relate to you know a particular statement that a character says if you shoot a bullet at it is it necessarily a contradiction is it a slight like technicality how is it being perceived i feel like that's the biggest flaw with dongrampa because these sorts of debates mm -hmm. 
um, are inherent on you forming a cohesive argument, but the game developer has already pre-programmed how it's yeah. supposed to flow, and these sorts of arguments can be made from different angles and in perceived in different ways, and that's really just kind of the frustration with these sorts of class trials. And I don't want you guys to like grill us, and I'm not trying to grill Dong and Rampa, and. Honestly, I don't really want to blame us because we're both really smart and we Yeah, like we were definitely up time. coming up with tons of different theories as to how <laughs> these like bullets... We've tripped up before. We've tripped up before. Yeah. And we're pretty quick to admit like okay, maybe there was a bit of a stretch, but I see the connection. But this honestly, I feel like just like doesn't doesn't make sense. I feel like it's kind of the reverse of what you would yeah. be what you would tempted think. or is so it's intuitive rather. Yeah. So regardless, let's try and play brush that frustration aside yeah. so that we can continue forward with this trial. Yeah. Anyways, but Kamida's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything, so he couldn't have possibly been, been tortured. tortured. <laughs> I whole, Except for that he totally could be. I wholeheartedly disagree, Hinata, but whatever. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. Yeah, that's right, Soda. I, I agree with Soda here. I don't want to slice through his words. I agree. <laughs> oh, I just realized it. It's a trap. I wonder if that's an actual, like, very intentional reference to the meme. I doubt it. <laughs> Baka Hinata, you got caught in that trap. Hinata's falling like, for traps. Uh, Wink. Uh, Stupid. Hype music. All right, let's let's remember how to cut through these words. What trap is this? What trap? Torture wounds, maybe? Burn rope? I doubt it's from burn rope. Maybe torture wounds. I don't know. Oh, these are moving fast. I'm gonna rely on you to read these. What? Those were so durable. Yeah. It was like four slices. Soda seems unusually confident. I should ask him why that is. <laughs> Let's go out there and chat with him a little bit. But that was the trap. Yeah, he got. They wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. Oh, I click, 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 left click, left click, left click. Come on, yes. Advance. If you tape his mouth shut, what's I so disagree with you, Hinata. Pay attention. Oh shoot. Whoa. Whoa. And after they killed him. What? Hold up. There were only four points in that little sta like set. There were only four statements that could have been that were in that little thing. The first one is immediately breakable. The second one requires three hits. Yeah. And then this next one immediately shows up and it's like, whoa. So the first time before you even know how durable it is. Okay, well, we'll make it back. What? Am I, like, getting blunt? I think we're supposed to use duct tape, by the way. You think? Yeah. Because then otherwise there would be blood underneath his duct, underneath his duct tape. If, um, they took off the tape. Like okay. I'm not- it's really difficult to pay attention to what he's actually saying. Not this one, next I one, right? I think it's the next one. Okay. How is that? Then after they killed him, how does the duct tape contradict that? Well, okay, so I think... Oh, after they killed him, they put the duct tape on? Is that that's supposed to mean no, 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 slash no, no. The, the duct tape was on first. Yeah. So they could never have removed it to get the information, otherwise blood would have gotten there, technically. Is what I think it is. Hmm... I mean, I guess in, in Danganronpa's line of thinking, that makes sense. If you think about it from the sense that they could torture him and then remove duct tape and then ask yeah. and then put duct tape back on and, and continue, continue torturing, torturing him and then that doesn't would never make, get to his mouth. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but Danganronpa apparently hasn't been working with the assumption that we just indicated yeah. is like okay, a yeah. possibility. So I guess that is consistent in Danganronpa's own Yeah, but even so, moment, like, but... with the original non-stop debate, I'm still, like, reeling about that because I feel like... The statement should have been something about like how they couldn't, they weren't like torturing him for information, not like just torturing him in general. Yeah, or just like 
Because I remember saying at the beginning, I was like, oh, they couldn't have been torturing him for information because then there would be blood underneath the duct tape. But no one said any sentence like that that made it seem like they were specifying, oh, he was tortured for information, or he said that there was the bomb hiding spike place or anything like that. Right. Like, I was thinking the only thing I could think of was like, oh, Sonya's statement, but that was a support statement. Mm -hmm. So it, it couldn't have been that. Yeah. So we did think about it. And I'd argue it's logically flawed in yeah. that you could just remove the tape yeah. and then put it back on as so. many... Well, movies and games, yeah. villains do, but no, there's <sighs> no doubt Kamida's mouth is covered with. I'm just, I'm just really looking forward to get past this like nonstop debate and it's like <laughs> aftermath, and then we just move on to the next thing, get I'm back so, going. Like, bad. I don't want people to be like, oh no, 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 it's like this. Yeah, and I was we like, know, no. you, we know you guys we love Dongarapa. Thought it, we thought about it. We know you guys love Dongarapa. We love Dongarapa too. Don't yes. worry, every love relationship, there is going to be times where you're really upset with the other person. Yeah, it's you because gotta... you love them so much that they can make you so mad. Mm -hmm. That's very true. We're, we're, we're having one of those moments right now. We're yeah. having one of those moments. Please don't grill us. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. No, there's no doubt Kumaida's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Who cares about duct tape? We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. Oh my goodness, Oni. <laughs> We don't need to play a game. It's clear that the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. This is true. Yeah. But I feel like they're making the assumption like he couldn't have ever been taken off. Yeah. Hinanami! <gasps> Hinanami! Hinanami! Let there be blush, let there be blush, let there be blush. <laughs> let there be blush. <laughs> Why do you always side with Hinata? Do you have a crush on him or something? Please, please, please. Plush, plush, plush. Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you in elementary school or something? I feel like that was so directed at every single person playing the game who probably was like, Yeah, Soda, like, ask the question. Like, yeah. Let me blush and, like, so embarrassed and, like, ship, ship, ship. And then, then Hina's like, like, You guys are so immature. <laughs> and just, like, makes everyone playing the game who just, like, totally sided with Soda being like, Okay then. Maybe, maybe we are elementary school students, yeah. gosh. What's wrong with childlike wonder? Yeah. You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Komida's mouth, right? Wow, I am not. It's been a long time. It's been a long like, time since the anime like, voice. I was Komida's mouth. The blood on Komida's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. I mean, that's a simile. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. For the first time. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. Which means he was, well, either trying to scream, but more so trying to inhale mm -hmm. really hard, right? Which means he might have suffocated. I mean, I don't think that was the cause of death, but it was probably part of it. It could be. He could still breathe through his mouth, though. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so he wouldn't be able to scream. Wait a minute, aren't, aren't they the aren't same, the same thing? thing? Are, I mean, right, like, is anyone implying that like the tape was like someone taped I don't know, him, like, like, for torture? I would think like, oh, is that what they're trying to say? Like, was anyone trying to imply that the tape, like the tape on his mouth itself was torture? Because like, the tape being used for torture, the tape would only be used in torture to keep him from making noise. Yeah, it's like, not like, oh my gosh, like, I have duct tape like, on my face. how is that so different than, like, it was to keep his mouth shut, like... Yeah. I don't know. I'm still very confused by this, but regardless, then, it's like I said at the beginning, the tape wasn't for torture, it was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Komaida. Then, 
あそこまでのことをしたとおっしゃるのですか Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? It's very possible. Something else, I don't know if I mentioned it before during the investigation, but the, the slicing patterns on his left leg and then his right leg and left arm are very different. Oh, yeah, they're all different. It seems like the left leg is like someone stabbing, but the right side and or the right leg and the left arm look like some sort of like machine that like routinely went through and cut in a particular、oh. way. Because it's not like, it's all very ordered.、Mm-hmm. It, um, it actually makes me think to an extent he might have been put on the Monokuma plushie like, like production line at some point.、Oh. Throwing it out there. That's scary. There's actually. Oh, shoot, what was it? Oh, I forget what it was. I read a story somewhere about like a murder where someone. It might have been a cartoon. I don't want to make you think it's like real life or something like that. It might have been a book or something that I read where someone was thrown in. Oh, it might have been Criminal Minds, actually. I think that's what it was. Or Bones. Uh, one of those TV shows where someone was thrown or killed by being thrown into a machine that like de feathers chickens. <gasps> and they like looked at the wounds or like the marks on his like skull and such in like his face. And in doing so, by how routinely and like sp- their spacing and everything, determined you know, how deep they are, like how much force had to be used and what type of machine could rotate to give such a pattern. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. You should see my face right now. I'm imagining dying via chicken feather machine, and it is terrible. Yeah, it doesn't sound very fun. It but, sounds terrible. But regardless, that's sort of my inspiration for this sort of、uh, interpretation. That sounds terrible, guys. Regardless, did you say this line?、Uh, I don't remember. I'll say it again just in case so you guys can <laughs> hear my wonderful voice acting. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer?、Oh, wonderful voice acting. <laughs> だとしたら正気の沙汰じゃねえなそいつは狂っちまってんじゃねえのか If so, that's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? いやただ狂ってるだけじゃねえそれに加えてかなり狡猾な野郎だぞ No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty baka そうでなきゃ現場に放火して If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Honestly, I disagree.、Uh, I disagree. I don't, I don't think being crafty and being a psycho are mutually exclusive. Agreed. But I don't think that the fire was set to get rid of all the evidence.、Mm. I, because the curtain was down,、mm. the curtain was there, which intentionally protected the crime scene. It might have been used to potentially burn the rope,、mm. right? But I also think that the, the chemicals being replaced and the smoke and being in a trapped warehouse with only your nostrils potentially, I feel like suffocation might have played a role.、Uh... You know what I mean? Oh, I forget where it was. Those, those grenade things that they use. Yeah. The fire extinguishing grenades. They work by very rapidly releasing carbon dioxide. Okay. Oh.、Uh, right. Said, wasn't he dead long before that happened? Didn't he die at noon? I don't. Did he say that? I think it's a lot of people file that he died around noon, which is a lot of people just before. Is it? I don't remember chrono- or like, chronologically. I think he was already dead. Yeah. Okay, then maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think it was. Okay. Regardless, <laughs> I guess you guys were just graced with that theory. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire, yada yada yada. So, the warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? So, they didn't have to worry about it. 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 When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Sound like there was a huge domino effect of more people in the warehouse that hit a lighter. Ah, so the Orega Soko no Tobida Waketa Chukuni, Okara Higa, all got done the Mona. Yeah, and right after I opened the warehouse door, the flame. Wait, that's the wrong voice. <clears throat> yeah, and right after I opened the warehouse door, the flame started burning from the very back. Somebody, Pokoni, Dareka, Hoka, Statua, Kanga, Rena, Hazano, this. 
which means it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. See, I very much feel like we're either gonna get one of those like, what evidence? Like, wait, no, that's it can't be the case. And then like, and then you know, like, it's a clearly. Thing. And then it's like, you know, one of three options, or we're gonna get another non-stop debate. But either way, it's very clear. Like, yeah, this is not right. <laughs> The killer isn't one of us, but that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Oh, Even if it was only coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? Uh, I do not know that, but that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? <laughs> Darn right it is! <laughs> I think that's the first time in forever that she, that she hasn't just, like, hasn't shut, just, him like shut him down. I miss Sonya and Tanaka ship. That was a good yeah, ship. It was a good ship. <sighs> Tanaka and the poor Dark Davis. The reason for the fire, huh? They're right. We need to clear that up first. Okay, so it is another non-stop debate. Uh, but like, the worst. No. What? But, <laughs> but honestly, like, we're gonna have the, what, Monokuma panels. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Although there are gonna be a lot of statements. Doing some kind of setup. Oh, wait, that's right. Not just. Just threw the lighter. No. Oh man, we're only halfway through this. Invisible thread. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. definitely it. Sorry, I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. <laughs> Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. I feel like that's a reference or some sort of like... Oh, yeah. Something that I should know about, but... But don't. But I don't. Yeah, <laughs> No, not wind pressure. They probably use the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were lying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Kuzudu, please. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. A domino effect? You mean those tiles kids play with by lighting them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. Yeah, not making any too, like, crazy inferences here. Yeah. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But, 
but wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's not true. That is a fair point. Would it have to... Hmm, how, it would have to have happened pretty quickly. Yeah. Maybe they're all like attached to each other, so they would all fall at once. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, still. Yeah. I'm thinking like visually it, is it would be obvious yeah. still what they're going on. I feel like they're gonna claim like we wouldn't we wouldn't we hear them and then we'll like talk about the music that was yeah, playing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably why they turn off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing, there was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? Uh, this is the music. Yeah. MP3 player! Yeah! So <laughs> You're talking about the MP3 player, right? So That him blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. It's him in the background it's so though. so weird. I know. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, the loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? No. Yeah, it's really darn loud. Is Kamida like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. Oh. oh. And as if on cue, oh it suddenly started. Oh my god, Oadi's senses are so I know, good. her senses are super on point. So good. That's it, so the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when they opened the door to the warehouse. Oh, maybe this is to indicate that they forced them to kick it with so much pressure that it would push things along yeah. really quickly. Fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, already brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Ha! Huh? It's not opening. <laughs> Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened opening is slowly. Already ignored their protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. What does he got? Keep up. <laughs> ah, so the door was being blocked by the Morokuro panel. But the Morokuro panel is really that heavy. There's a lot of them stacked up, I think. Right? Even then, too. But imagine take... if you're like trying to open a door slowly and there's like a bunch of Morokuro panels kind of like pushed up against it. Five or six cardboard stand ups. I don't know. Oh man, I don't know, oh, man. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Oari mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? I think they're about to make, the, about to make yeah. the exact same point. But the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Hmm? Huh? The blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through. What does that mean? Like, they obviously oh, who could have set it up? What? I think she's asking who could have set it up. How is that relevant? Well, um... Like, if you set up that, that contraption, you wouldn't be able to open the door and leave the warehouse without tipping it over. Is that the only door? I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, but I see what you're saying. Yeah. Now. So she's saying. I like was like, well, how I first read this was like, there's a doorway, and someone can't fit through it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I was read. like. I was like, wait, that doesn't wait, make sense. What? So. So someone small enough to be able to get through the doorway without tipping it over. Yeah, but that's. But she's saying like it's impossible. And so for she's it. saying that that like limits. I think that's either she's limits what it is or it's that it's impossible. Yeah, and it's then we're impossible gonna find some other way to exit the building. Yeah. Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, the door was the only entrance to the warehouse. That door was the only entrance to the warehouse. So the problem that I'm just talking about is... The killer couldn't have left. We couldn't take any merch. <laughs> Yo. Hmm. The panel is so close to the door that it could barely be opened. The killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Yeah, that's logical. Now that you mention it... No, because everyone was outside. Yeah, does that mean they were hiding inside? Yeah. Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. <sighs> Based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. Some kind of setup. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have done this. Whoa. Whoa. One person. Only one person. What do you What are you thinking? I, I'm gonna go with the default soda because soda is just too I'm techy to be able to say... do anything. Do you think Komaida? I think Komaida maybe did the setup. Because we're not. Because he's the only one who couldn't have left. Yeah, but then got killed. Well, but then how did the killer kill him without me? Right. I, I feel like those were my two options. It's either Solda, because we always say Solda can do everything and he yeah. must be the killer. Yeah. And Komaida, because he's the only one who could have done that and then stayed inside. Yeah. But then, like, why would Komaida have set all of this up? Yeah. Right? But how would he have died? You know? Like, at what point did he die in that case? I mean, theoretically, he would have already been dead. But then, how did the killer escape? After Komaida set that thing off, the whole thing up. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I we'll see like what Nanami has to say. Yeah. Huh? Sorette. You don't. You don't mean... But if if that's true... This murder... Um, Hinata, what do you mean? Yeah, what what do you mean, Hinata? What I do feel, you mean? I feel like we're about to get to some, like, real groundbreaking, like... Thing. This whole case is gonna get flipped, flipped. on its own. Yeah. Flipped on its side. So I'm pretty excited, but, uh... We're, of course, gonna have to see what that flip is... In the next episode. Okay, definitely feeling better ending this episode on a more positive note. Yeah, than rather than being like, okay, well, we failed this entire episode, yeah. so bye. Then, rather than coming into this episode and just like failing super hard and already being super tired yeah, and down. Yeah, 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 that's what It's going up, it's going up. I do like, I feel like it's taking more reasonable twists at this point. It's starting to get. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you guys think about all the different things we mentioned. Again, please don't hate us for the beginning. Yeah. And we'll try our best, as we always do. Yeah. As we always do. Gambate. With these uh, future not soft debates, because I'm sure it's going to continue yes. to be difficult from yes, here on out. I agree. So, but yeah, we're just rambling at this point. We'll see you guys next episode. But until then, this is Moon 90. And Lizzie. And this mission is complete. Bye. Bye.